Rockets are the tools that opened to us the doors to space and allowed us to learn about the universe and our planets. A rocket is a vehicle that uses rocket engines to achieve thrust in order to launch a payload into an orbit. Rocket engines come in many different forms and sizes, but I'm going to talk about the traditional one. A rocket engine works by forming a high-speed propulsive jet of fluid using a propellant. It achieves this by using a bell nozzle as demonstrated in this clip of a replica I made from plastic bottles. As you can see, the high-pressure gas resulting from the combustion of the propellant is forced to pass through the throat, which utilizes the principles of gases to accelerate it to a theoretical sonic speed. Then the gas expands by transforming its thermal energy and pressure into kinetic energy, thus making it supersonic. Engineers have made the perfect nozzle shape optimized for a specific altitude. For example, an optimized nozzle for sea level looks like this, while one optimized for vacuum looks like this. This is due to the difference of atmospheric pressure. The best example of this is the expansion of rocket exhaust gases in higher altitudes. Caution to use the right size of the nozzle. A smaller nozzle makes the jet expand in the air which makes it highly inefficient to use. An oversized nozzle generates off-axis thrust damaging the rocket engine. And the perfect nozzle is the one that makes the gas expand perfectly into the air, making it optimized for the operating altitude. As for the throats, it shouldn't be too big, therefore unoptimized or too small, choking the flow. Engineers are working hard to replace these engines by ones optimized for all altitudes, such as our spike engines and many more that will enable cheaper space flights, perhaps making humanity a neutral planetary species in the near future.